today's video is going to be about how to make money really fast in Elder Scrolls Online. Where I'm at is, let me bring up the big map. Um, I'm in the Gold Coast Way Shrine, and the Gold Coast, obviously. And you zoom in on the Dark Brotherhood uh, from this little Way Shrine. You want to run inside, get inside, and then talk to um, the speaker. Um, he's located right there. And what he's going to do is he gives you a quest. You can go through and read it all if you want. But he will then teleport you to the smuggler's den. And essentially what you're supposed to do with this quest is get in, make the kill, destroy the artifact, um, what, whatever the secondary thing is. Okay, so this one is in the top right. Uh, Kill that guy with poison, and then kill Lucky. And then you have to get out before the Overseer arrives. And you can only be seen five different times. Okay, so this strategy is forget all that. You know, just, just pretend like that doesn't even exist. Everything in here can be stolen. And if you have a big inventory spot, you can steal quite a bit. And then head back to like the thieves den or somewhere where they accept stolen goods and then sell it all and what this is going to do is let me bring up the legend the more that you sell the the higher your legend main goes and the more um skill points that you can put into here so you can do this but as you see in the bottom right i'm in um i'm trespassing and every time i'm seen or kill somebody in here my bounty goes up but if you're going to log out for the day and you're going to be out for let's say overnight or before you go to work or you're out for an extended period of time when you log back in your bounty will have decreased to just about nothing or it'll be gone completely now something that you can do is under guild dark brotherhood you can reduce the amount of time um, Reduce the bounty, I'm sorry, with the scales of uh, pit, pitless justice. And that's for killing somebody. Under the Thieves Guild, if you do Swiftly Forgotten, the bounty and heat decreases much faster. So if, let's say, you rack up a 10,000 gold bounty, um, that might not clear overnight. But if you put a skill points into the Swiftly Forgotten and then, whoops, this guy here, the Scales of Pitless Justice, it might reduce the bounty or the time for it to clear. Instead of, let's say, 12 hours, it, it's six hours. You know, it reduces it by 50%. So either way, if you're logged out for an extended period of time, when you log back in, the bounty's gone. So with that knowledge, from here on out, we can do anything we want. We'll just uh, kind of... Um, yeah, there's traps and stuff there. Everybody in here is killable. Um, he normally is... Uh, he has the methods to see people that are invisible, see people that are stealthing. But in this case, we don't care. It, it just completely forget about that. So everybody... That was actually the hardest guy in here, except for the boss when he comes. The boss is kind of difficult. He's not anything you know too hard, though. And the quest wants me to kill Lucky, which is the sheep. As you see, I just had a bounty added to me, 231 gold. Um, so I'm on alert status two. So again, you know, forget all that. <laughs> uh, you can also work on your pickpocketing here. Um, you can get, you know, any of this stuff, but it only sells for, I think, one gold. So you can also work on your pickpocketing. Well, I'll walk up behind him. And you can work on your achievements for the Blade of Woe or you know, pretty much anything else. Typically what I do is I pickpocket twice and then I assassinate them. And then you can just search the body for more stolen goods. But, you know, you do you. If you're working on pickpocketing, that's a great way to level up your pickpocketing. And then you can pretty much go until your inventory is filled up. And then what I typically do... Hold on, being stabbed in the face. Anyways, uh, what I typically do 
is I go from the Gulf Coast. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Gulf, Gold Coast, I'm sorry, to Hughes Bain, which is the Thieves Guild uh, edition. And I go there and I, you can have your bounty cleared, but it costs money. So, you know, you do what you want. But from here, I ride up a little bit and then you turn and go into the sewers. And I will demonstrate this really quick. But basically, in this map, you can go all over, um, do as many, uh, whoops, don't you know I'm trying to make a movie? <laughs> make as many pickpocketing attempts that you want. You can steal as much um, merchandise as you'd like. And then let me exit here really quick. And then I will show you if I don't hit any more bear traps. I'll go through and make another video where it's uh, just entirely of me going through and just getting as much loot as I can and then returning. Let's see, can I teleport out of here? Yep, so from here, you can go here or you can go anywhere where there is, let's say, um, a quick and easy way to sell your goods without being spotted by the guards. I chose this location because the way shrine is quite a distance away from the city itself. So you have a chance to um, get in, not be spotted by the guards, and then go to the Thieves Guild where you can sell your ill-gotten gains. Demonstrate that when it loads up, but I think everybody sort of has the idea here. Doing this, you can get, uh, it depends on the quality of stuff that you steal, but I've been able to get between eight to 10,000 gold um, when I do this. So it's a good way to kind of end out your game and it puts quite a bit of gold in your pocket. So from the way shrine, I just rode north and then you go into the tunnel and there's, there's no guards out here, so you don't have to worry about them. Then from here, you go in and you sell your stuff. This can't be used for the Thieves Guild um, little mission, the one where you're supposed to do heists. They have stuff where you can take like from barrels and chests and backpacks, but it's not stolen goods. It, it's more like food items. So it's only worth, you know, a couple gold or whatever. So you got the option to clear, or you can just wait until it clears by itself. And I'll just go through and sell everything. That's quick 578 gold for doing virtually nothing. So I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.